biology. Today here we are going to do an experiment about food taste. First of all, food is anything that can be eaten to obtain nutrients and energy in the body. Food test is an experiment done to know the presence of food of nutrients in a food. In front of us we have got chemicals and reagents which are going to be used for experiment. Here I've got copper sulfate, we have got sodium hydroxide, lead, hydrochloric acid, iodine solution, and Benedict solution, sample A. Sample B, sample C, sample D. Okay, I'm going to welcome the first presenter to represent. My name is Ryan Vedasto, form 2 in Kisimir Secondary School. In food tests, we are going to test if a food sample contains starch. First, we are going to take a test tube of sample B and put it in a test tube holder and a test tube of sample C and put it in a test tube after that we are going to take our sample C and sample B We are going to take three two cent two cent two centimeter cubic and after that we are going to, to use iodine solution and put it in a food sample few drops after that we are going to observe the color changes if the color changes into dark blue, it means our food test contains starch and we are going to shake it and observe. As you can see our food sample B contains the dark blue color and our food sample C does not contain. This means our food sample B, it's, it have the presence of starch. from two students in Kismiri Secondary School. Today we are going to do the test of carbohydrates. As we know that under carbohydrates we have got reducing sugar and not reducing sugar. And I'm going to test about reducing sugar. Following our procedures which are going to be taken when going to look if our food sample contains reducing sugar. As follows, we take our test tube. After that we take our food sample A. We put in our test tube, we take again food sample C, we put in our test tube, after that we take Benedict solution, the same amount we have taken to our food sample, we put in our test tube, we take again for the sample B, we put in our test tube. After that, we put it in the boiling water so as to observe the color changes. The color will start to change from blue to green, green to yellow, then yellow to orange. As you can see here, our color starts from, to change. After yellow color, it starts to come to orange. while the other one has not changed the color. Observe that color change from blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to brick, red or orange. As you can see, this has the presence of reducing sugar because it has changed the color, while this does not have the presence of sugar because it has not changed the color. My name is Osena Gilad Mwangi. I'm a form two student from the Simiri Secondary School. I'm here to test for non-reducing sugar by the following 
procedures. First, we take our test tubes and then we take our food samples. We we'll test by using food sample C. And food sample E. After that, we'll add to it hydrochloric acid. After we have added hydrochloric acid, we'll boil our solutions. After we have boiled them, we'll cool our solutions. We added hydrochloric acid so as to break down non-reducing sugar to reducing sugar. After we have cooled our uh, solutions, we will add to them sodium hydrochloride. We have added sodium hydroxide so that to neutralize hydrochloric acid to salt and to water. After we have added sodium hydroxide, we shake our solution so that it can be mixed well. We are going to add Benedict solution to our mixture solutions. So after we have added Benedict solution, we will go to boil our solutions to observe for color changes. As you can see, it is starting to change from blue to, to yellow. As you can see here, uh, the other one it has changed the color way, the other one it does not change its color. Okay, as you can see here uh, in our solutions, this one it has changed from blue to green and from green to yellow and from yellow to brick red orange, while the other one it has retained the color of Benedict solution. So it means that this one contains non-reducing sugar, while this one, it does not contain non-reducing sugar. My name is Joseph William. I'm a form two student of Kismiri Secondary School. Today we are going to propose you, I'm going to propose you the experiment about test of protein. I'm going to proceed by the following procedures. I'll take sample A, test it two, and sample C. Then I'll take the food samples from the beakers. I'll take like 2 cc, then sample C, 2 cc also, then I will take sodium hydroxide, like 1 cc, in every food sample. Then I will take copper sulfate like two or more drops in, a, in each food sample. The food sample which is going to be appear to be pulp, it means that there will be there will be the presence of protein in the food sample. Then I will shake it. Then it appears that sample A contains protein and sample C does not contain protein because sample A has purple color, but sample C does not contain purple color. Okay, the, by concluding, we are going to state the importance of this food test. Food test enables us to know 
which nutrients contain a certain food. Okay, my advice to people is that you're supposed to get balanced diet and make sure you maintain it. Biology.